Hi everyone, this is Afik. Afik looks occupied with his novel while Adam is trying to get his attention. I know why he is busy. I had given a piece of homework on Dear Mr. Kilmer last week. The deadline is in two days. So today is a day they'll start to panic. Look at Afik. He needs to finish reading the novel. All right. What are we going to learn today? At the end of this lesson, you should be able to understand the plot of the story, dear Mr. Kilmer. Write a personal response related to the story. Write at least three reasons to justify your answer. Do you think that this novel has a tragic ending? Afik thinks so. Adam doesn't quite agree with Afik. He thinks it has a good ending apart from the death of Richard's friend, Mr. Kilmer. Adam definitely thinks that it has a happy ending as many good things happen to the main character, Richard Knight, at the end of the story. Well, what do you think? We may not all agree with either Afik or Adam. Why don't we watch a short video on this novel? Like them. But, why don't we read the synopsis first? You may refer to the notes given by your teacher. Let's read it together. Looks like Adam and Afik too are reading it with the assistance of the audio. <coughs> this novel is about Richard Knight, a farm boy who is passionate about writing poems. He cannot relate well with his brother who is interested in hunting animals and sports. Richard finds himself unable to kill animals as he finds them beautiful. His father understands his pain but tells him that death is a part of life. In school, Richard listened to a poem titled Trees by Joyce Kilmer, which was read by his teacher, Mrs. Hansen, and is impressed by the thoughts expressed in it. With the support of his teacher, he begins to write letters with the poet Joyce Kilmer and also mentions that he writes poems. This starts a beautiful relationship between Joyce Kilmer and Richard. Joyce Kilmer joins the army to fight the enemy. Richard worries about the war as it affects the way people treat the Shermers family who originated from Germany in his own town. Hannah Schirmer is shunned by her classmates and treated badly because of her German background. Richard stands up to support her and eventually his actions have caused him to be ostracized too. Mrs. Hansen decides to organize a patriotic program to raise liberty bonds to show support for the country and to finance the war that was going on. Hannah turns down the role of Lady Liberty, although she wins it fair and square. Richard supports Hannah's decision and turns down the role of Doughboy. The two teenagers become close friends and spend more time together. Mr. Kilmer gets killed in the war. It is heartbreaking for Richard, who is saddened by the news. He writes a beautiful poem about the pain of losing a friend and it appears in the local paper. 
Richard is pleasantly surprised and comforted when his father tells him that the poem expresses well the pain he felt when he lost his brother in another war. There is mutual understanding as father and son talk over things that had not been mentioned before. The war too comes to an end and Richard hopes that anti-German sentiments in Turtle Lake would also subside. Do you think this is all that you have to do to answer questions on the novel? Of course not! You have to read the question carefully. The synopsis is just a short summary of the novel. There are no details at all. How many details do you need to answer this question? Hmm. There are many details in each event and chapter. If you want to score high marks for content, you need to provide details of each of the event you cite in your answer. Give accurate textual evidence and respond to the question. Have you finished reading the novel? Make sure you have finished reading the novel before you start answering questions on the novel. Never, I repeat, never just try answering the question after reading the summary alone. You may miss important details. Looks like Afik and Adam are going to work on their homework as Afik has finished reading. This is the question that their teacher gave them. In the novel that you have read, choose one character that you dislike. With close reference to the text, give reasons why you dislike him or her. Now, we need to identify the need of this question. Do you understand what I mean? First, you underline the focus of this question and write your notes on the empty space on the paper so that you do not forget. Can you write in the space below the question? Sure, but it is not advisable. It will be better if you use a pencil and write in the area next to the question. This way, we can refer to our short notes as we write our answer. Some people ask for extra paper from the invigilator during the exam. You can do that too. Now, you can just jot down my notes on a piece of paper. Here, I have underlined keywords in the question. One character you dislike. Reasons why you dislike. The next task is to plan our answer. Let's click on the PowerPoint file given by the boy's teacher. First, you need to identify the character that you dislike. We have a few characters in the story. Let us recap the characters in the novel. The characters are... Do you remember their names? This is going to be difficult to choose. And you need to spell their names correctly. Getting their names wrong or mixed up will also make you lose marks for factual error. How about we choose one character now? Maybe Gus? 
I do not think he is a good brother to Richard. What about Pa? As a father, he should have given love and support to Richard. Instead, I feel he has not done his duty as his father. Is that possible? Richard Knight is portrayed as an exemplary student in the novel. Would it be wrong? Of course it is acceptable. We can write about any character of our choice, but we must have at least three reasons and know the text well. Step-by-step -step guide. Read the question carefully. Underline key words. Start an introduction. Identify the character that you dislike. State three reasons with explanations. Written in first-person pronoun I. Retell the story to justify your reasons for disliking the character. Need to remember main events and details. And with a short concluding paragraph. Look at the next slide. You can see that textual evidence is required when we write our answer for this question. I will try to explain this again. Maybe this layout can help you remember better. It is in the following slide. In paragraph 1, you need to state the name of the novel and the name of the author. State the name of the character that you dislike too. Always provide the answer immediately in the first paragraph. Would you like to read the sample sentence? Let's do it together. Based on the novel written by Anne Schraff that I have studied titled Dear Mr. Kilmer, the character that I dislike is Spa. Pa is Richard Knight's father. Here are the reasons to support my answer. Now, do you remember do not make mistakes with the name of the novel and author. Take note of that. The next step is to think about the reasons. We mentioned earlier that Pa is not a supportive father. He has not stepped up to his role as Richard's father who is supposed to defend his son. Remember the part of the story when Ike Lewis Abner's father came to talk to him about Richard? Sad, isn't it? I think parents and guardians should protect their children because as adults, they are responsible towards their children's well-being, emotions and welfare. On top of that, parents are the people who should shower their children with love and teach them the right thing. They should also advise their children. In this novel, Pa shows very little support towards Richard. There are incidences when Pa tried to talk to Richard on certain matters. I think Richard opens up more to the Shermers than his own family. I think it is very obvious why Richard is closer and happier when he is with Hannah's family at their tavern. You know what? I think we can start drafting the second paragraph. We have one reason for disliking Pa. We remember the event in which Pa did not express his love and support towards Richard. We just need to organize them in a paragraph and probably add some details too. 
Let's start writing our drafts. You may want to take a few minutes for this task. Is your second paragraph ready? Okay, let's read Adam's second paragraph. The first reason why I dislike Pa is because he is unsupportive towards Richard. The event in which Pa shows lack of support for Richard is when Richard returned from Sherman's tavern for supper. Earlier that day, Ike Lewis had visited Pa to tell Pa about Richard spending a lot of time with Hannah Shermer and her family. Ike Lewis told Pa that it will seem unpatriotic to befriend the Shermers and spending a lot of time together since the Shermers have German blood. In their disagreement, Richard defends Hannah and her family by saying that they are just as patriotic as the other Americans in Turtle Lake too because they pay taxes and their son Otto is at war fighting against the Germans. Instead of listening and believing in Richard, his own son, Pa has asked Richard to stay away from the Shermans and even told Richard that his poetry writing has influenced Richard by giving him bad ideas. Richard feels sad after that and even lonelier. This event shows how Pa, as Richard's sole guardian, does not believe in Richard and chooses to cite Ike Lewis just because Ike Lewis has stayed in Turtle Lake longer than them and has helped them when they first arrived at Turtle Lake. I feel sad for Richard because as a teenager, he would expect his only parent to support him, like Hannah's dad. Instead, Pa does not empathize with Richard and he is very unsupportive of his son's views. Hmm, I would be sad if my father treats me like Pa. Can we add how we feel in this paragraph? Sure, just add a sentence to express your feelings about the incidents that took place at the farmhouse porch just now. I think I want to add that sentence here. I am going to add this here too. Adam is adding the word empathize what is empathize? Do you know? It means to share the feelings of other people. Hmm, looks like Adam and Afik have sent their work to their teacher. And their teacher has replied. Like us, they're on the right track too. Now, shall we continue with two more paragraphs? Since we know how to write the answer now, shall we list the main points and ideas? Then we will work on the paragraphs and compile our work. How does that sound to you? Doesn't that sound like a good plan? Here, I have some notes to help us. In the third paragraph, Pa treats Richard unfairly. While Richard has to work at the farm, Gus is allowed to do anything he likes. Gus is older than Richard, but he has not been asked to help Pa at the farm. Pa does not say anything to Gus for not helping him. He does not appreciate Richard enough. At the dining table, when Angie tells Richard that he receives a letter from New York, Pa does not show any interest in Richard's hobby or his new pen friend. As father, Pa could have been fair in his treatment towards his children. He treats Richard with animosity and 
brushes Richard's interest aside when he says nothing at the dining table. This is the reason I dislike Pa. Pa's distant and cold reaction towards Richard makes Richard feel very lonely and this is saddening for me. Now, doesn't that sound like a good answer to you? So this is for paragraph 4. Now, tell me what you think of our answer after this. Another reason for disliking Pa is because he keeps a secret about the death of his own brother Roland from his children. We should not keep secrets from our family. Pa does not share the death of his brother-in-law with Richard or anyone in the family. He keeps his sadness to himself. This is not right because Richard deserves to know about his uncle Roland. This is also the reason Pa does not have friendly conversations with his children. It will bring the family together and family members will have a closer bond with each other. I sympathize with Richard for having a father like Pa. If Pa had shared his secret about his brother Roland to Richard earlier, maybe Richard would be a happier teenager in school because he has a good relationship with his father. Richard will not be bullied in school too, and Pa could have come to his aid or go to Richard's school on the day the bullies attacked him. Pa has made Richard suffer in silence and made him feel defenseless. We have prepared a personal response based on the boy's homework. There are five paragraphs in our answer. You are advised to give at least three reasons and every time you write your reason, support your reason with textual evidence from the text. Look at paragraph 3. Highlighted sentences in yellow refer to textual evidences. Give as much detail as possible when writing your answer. Accuracy is equally important too. If you give only the main event in one sentence, then you will get lesser marks than someone who can produce more details from the novel. Read the novel just like Afik. Your aim is to justify your answers. You need to give your own opinion too. I have highlighted in green. Can you identify the textual evidences in paragraph 4? This is paragraph 4. Are you ready to check your answers now? Good. Now here are the answers. Look at the screen and check against your answers. Remember that your opinion matters too. The examiners will look for these elements in your answer. Look at the slide. Do not leave your opinion only in the last paragraph. Always make sure that each paragraph is written with all these elements in mind. Before we leave, do check for spelling errors and accuracy in the textual evidences. You will be penalized if you get the spelling of the names, places and details wrong. Language is important too. Always read your answer a few times before you hand in your work. Would you like to try out another question? Write your answer and show it to your teacher or you can even exchange it with a friend. Try out this question for practice. I wish you best of luck in your SPM. Work hard 
and work smart. Bye-bye.